Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. Buying uh, kiln-dried wood to turn bowls from can get quite expensive. While uh, wood is not too bad in one inch thickness, uh, when you get up to four inches and more, uh, the uh, price can skyrocket to $14 and more a board foot. So most turners today turn their bowls uh, from green wood that they chainsaw directly from a log. I'd like to show you how to safely and effectively do this. So as we prepare to go out and do some chainsawing, we're going to get out our safety gear. We're going to don a, a, a hard hat here which has hearing protection and a face shield. Uh, we're going to grab some leather gloves to protect our hands and we're going to put on chaps uh, which are very effective at abating uh, cuts uh, to the legs uh, and Better than 60% of chainsaw accidents are below the waist to the legs and feet. So another good thing to add to our safety arsenal is a good pair of leather boots, which I have on. I won't start my chainsaw without all of these items. All of these logs are great candidates for bowl blanks. We're going to use the one on top, which is a nice beach log and easy to get to. We're going to buck, which is a term for cross cut a piece of this log that's a little shorter than the bar. This is a 25 inch bar so we want a 22 to 24 inch section of log. Before we do that we're going to make a bucking cut that takes about a foot off the end of the log because the end has lost water faster than the rest of the log and we have the typical end grain checking that we see down in here. Uh, so let's get to work. The first thing we have to do is start our chainsaw. And there are two approved chainsaw starts. One is the ground start and the other is the knee start. Whatever you do, you do not want to do what is called a cowboy start where you hold the saw in one hand and pull the recoil rope with the other. If the saw were to backfire, it can go flying around and hurt you badly. So let's look at the two starts close up. The ground start is the best option with a cold saw. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is lock the chain brake and then we're going to set the choke. We're going to put our foot in the handle here so it can't jump around, push the decompressor and pull the recoil handle. The second approved start is the knee start and it's great with a warm saw. I'm simply going to turn the saw on push the decompressor and put the handle between my knees like this and pull the handle. And there we have about a 24 inch section of log which we can now turn into bowl blanks. And while I'm here I might as well do two sections and then I'll have plenty of blanks for the week. Okay I've got the uh, piece of log we just bucked uh, on an improvised cradle of four logs here. And I'm now going to make a rip cut right down the center of this log going right through the pith. I'm going to cut almost to the bottom and then I'm going to cut uh, another slab off of the outsides leaving me with two big flat planks that we, I can bandsaw bowl blanks from. On a larger log I will cut to either side of the center. Uh, leaving the pith uh, uh, completely out of the uh, pitcher then and I'll cut four or six slabs uh, off the each outside edge of the log. Well, let's uh, take a look at how we do this now in action. All right. And there we go, two beautiful planks of wood uh, that we can turn two good sized bowls out of that are nice and deep and uh, it would be very expensive to get wood like this at a store, uh, kiln dry. Now that we've got our blanks cut, it's 
time to hang up our safety gear until next time and go down to the shop and turn some bowls. This is Ernie Conover saying, give uh, green wood turning a try. Uh, you'll like the uh, economy of the whole process and uh, green wood is just great fun to turn. Above all, be safe.